2014 Smart Car 4.2, pulling the engine out. We got the little assembly dropped right there. What's up, I'm Kurt. My buddy found out that I'm a mechanic, so now I got like four of these things uh, in my lap. Um, two of them have bad head gasket, the other two have bad compression, so I'm just f trying to figure this out as I go. Uh, saw some stuff out there, but I just thought I'd add to it. So, a couple things right here. Basically, it all comes out as an assembly you take out. It's the four big subframe bolts. Okay. Um, this connector right here is fuel injection or ECU connector. And it just goes up through the body right there. Okay. Fuel line, main fuel feed line goes to the fuel rail. I do have the intake manifold off this one um, because somebody had done some previous work and pinched some wires. So normally I don't think you'd have to take the manifold off. And then we got uh, EVAP purge line, which just goes to the side there. And then up under here, e-brake cables, which hook up right there. We got uh, AC lines right there. We got two main coolant feed pipes and then we got like a heater hose right there. And I'll take you to this side. Transmission shifter cable. Uh, this would go to the intake manifold for uh, brake booster or vacuum brakes. This whole harness, which I left in the body. That's just transmission, so that goes to this side of the transmission stuff. Um, I pulled the starter out for access to uh, like e-brake cables. Um, this one right here, this is basically your main power cable that goes from the battery through the body of the car. Um, and then it goes to the starter and then up to the alternator right there. That's that cable right there is the reason why I pulled the intake manifold off is because it was pinched. It was previously kind of like pinched up under the intake. Um, over here we got uh, main brake hoses and like ABS sensors. Those are some of the first things I took loose. Those are just right there attached to the subframe. Um, I think that's about it. It's pretty straightforward. I had never done it before. Um, to gain access to parts, basically it's inner fenders and the rear bumper. The tail lights and like the fuel cap, those will kind of come out with the rear bumper assembly. But yeah, now it's ready to pull a cylinder head, I guess.